uh, you know, obviously to start, hat, hats off to Wisconsin. They're they're good. Obviously, we know that. And uh, you know, I thought uh, yeah, they made it difficult to score. Um, their defense was good. I thought they were great on the glass. You know, I also thought without you know, I certainly want to give them their due, but I thought we had something to do with that as well. Now, 19 offensive rebounds is entirely too many. They just and they're good. They're 17th in the country in offensive rebounding percentage. We knew that going into the game. Three on the last possession of the first half. Three on the last possession of the game. So similar to 19 on those possessions. But uh, that stands out. Uh, then I thought, uh, you know, the start, you get down 16 to 2 to them. It's tough uh, to anybody. Uh, but the style they play makes it uh, difficult. And I'll give our guys credit. They fought back, cut to six. And then probably the third thing that stands out is the shooting percentage. You know, when you play them, you've got to you got to make shots. We've been shooting the ball well, especially at home. And and uh, you know, when Hill and, and uh, Jay Cole go a combined six for 23, you know, and some of those I know the shot when it was a six-point game. I felt like the building was really into the game, and Hill gets the wide open one on the out of bounds play uh, with no one within several feet of him, and uh, we missed that one. And, we had another one on an inbound play for Jay Cole that we ran. We missed that one. You know, I, I just thought we missed some shots that were good. And it's certainly no disrespect to Wisconsin's defense because they've got a great defense. But I thought Hill and Jay Cole were able to get good looks. We executed some things and got them some shots. We just didn't make them. Um, so I thought those three things really uh, stood out. And the second chance. Uh, Possessions where they got 19 offensive rebounds, are shooting, and then the start. You know, um, you know, I just I, those three things stood out to me in terms of our team. Uh, plays that stood out that I thought were momentum plays, six-point game, we're fighting like crazy. Our defense I thought was really good in the second half, and we missed the wide open three. That would have cut it to three, cut it to a one possession game. The free throw blockout that we had, uh, which I have to watch out on film. Um, that was interesting, but I thought that was a big, uh, big play. And then I thought when they poked away Tijon's ball in the middle of that run, that led to a you know a pick pick two, pick six, whatever you want to call it, it felt like pick six. Um, I thought it was a big momentum play as well. Those three plays really stood out uh, to me while we're scrapping and fighting and clawing and you know really I thought our half court defense was you know good enough to win. They shot 40% from the field. I thought we really competed there. Um, you know, had 10 turnovers. We wanted to play with nine or 10. That was the goal for the game. We did that, and we had 16 offensive rebounds ourselves. Was to, you, to get that number, you got to compete on the backboard to get 16 offensive rebounds against them. So we did some things. But when you're playing a team that's that good, you know, to shoot 27%, give up 19 offensive rebounds, and get off to that start. Again, I thought those were the three keys to the game. Questions? John, it looked like uh, Laron's injury affected not only his shot, but also some of the rebounds that he was contesting. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's been banged up, you know, a little bit here and there. He's taped up uh, with the bicep deal, but, you know, he'll tell you we, he, he's the type of guy to want any excuses. He's got to secure a couple of those. I know he lost a couple of them, but yeah, he's been fighting it a little bit. So. I mean, you face those early double-digit deficits on the road quite a bit. Now that you know they're having it home, I mean, it's, I mean, that's not a great trend. I mean, how do you maybe break that? You know, the next time. Well, I think Wisconsin has something to do with that. They're pretty good. Uh, you know, they made shots early. I didn't think our defense helped us any there. We missed shots early and got behind on it 16-2. to two. And then, you know, I don't know if it was, you know, so much you know, more execution than anything. For us, it was more shot making, I thought. You know, and again, I don't want to take anything away from their defense. Um, and they did a good job on Hill and, you know, put some bodies on him and some bigger bodies on him. But, you know, he's... You know, I'm not accustomed to seeing him shoot air balls. You know, we got we got to we're better than that. Of course, he can tell you he's better than that. You know, we just we got to make more of higher percentage of the shots that we that we were able to get in the game. 
especially with him and J. Cole and Mab. You know, those three guys shot 31 of our 58 shots. And I'm, I'm feeling comfortable with that. And was, we got inside. I thought Mab did some good things inside. And at least we got to make a few, a few more of those, especially the open ones. Got to shoot a higher percentage. John, you've faced some big deficits in the Big Ten before, and your teams have battled back. Are, are, are you seeing that this team is capable of doing that, and why? Well, I thought they didn't. You saw what they did when they got down 16-2. to two. I mean, they fought. Defensively, we were really good in the second half. I thought we competed, pressured the ball, went to the offensive glass hard, got out in transition. I thought the only thing we didn't do in the second half was – Rebound consistently enough there, and I know three of those were in the one possession at the end, but too many, 19. I think they had nine or ten at halftime, and maybe nine or whatever. That was about 50-50 with the offensive rebound deal. And then we just didn't make shots. You know, we've got to, we've got to make more shots uh, than what we made today. 27 percent is not enough cut. Back So you definitely had the, uh, this, obviously, the slow start, 16-point deficit early. It was only 13, though, at the half. So what changed in the locker room? What did you say to your guys there in order to get their defense to really play uh, well against the Wisconsin team to get that lead down to six? Was there anything different there? No, just executing the game plan a little bit better. Um, you know, then they, you know, they missed some, too. I mean, you know, for example, I, you know, the kid Iverson, Made a couple big time shots. He had made one three in conference play. He had made two the entire season. He goes two for two today. Give him credit. I mean, he hadn't done that all year. I don't know if he's done that in his career, but he did it today. You know? So they made some shots. Uh, I thought in the second half we had a little bit more bite on the ball. I thought that was good. We made him a little bit more uncomfortable. Um, you know, I thought we had better energy defensively in the second half. And, um, you know, guys had some pride, and they, they battled on that into the floor. And really, that's what cut it to six. You know, it wasn't our shot making. You know, even the shots we made to cut it to six, I think Nichols had a breakaway on a steal or transition layup. Tate had a breakaway on a layup. You know, uh, we just kind of fought and scratched and clawed to get to that point. Um, and then, obviously, you had the blob play to cut it to three, which we felt good about. We ran earlier in the game, and he was open again and just – you know, didn't, didn't make it. Scott. Tracy, back in the, the starting lineup after you, know, you kind of take him out to maybe see if that could spark him a little bit, just what was maybe the thought process there to get him back in? It was just a coach's uh, decision between me and Jay Cole. Michael? Coach, you, you referenced the rebound rate of the first half and then end of the game. How disappointed were those two defensive possessions? And is it a fair effort or what's the uh, issue there? I don't know if it was. I'll have to take a look at it. I know they had us in rotation in the one at the end of the first half, a little bit on the ball screen. You know, Tijon got switched on to Vito Brown. And, and uh, you know, he's whatever he is, six foot, six foot one. Vito's a little taller, but, you know, he's got to find a way to get him out of there on that switch, you know. So that was that one. The one at the end of the game, you know, I, I don't know. I have to take a look at it. I was more disappointed in that one than I was the one at the end of the first half. Any other questions for Coach? Thank you. Thanks, guys.